good morning it is friday today elliot and i were up at the crack of dawn this morning because we are heading off to paris for a long weekend um elliot booked this for me for my was it birthday or christmas uh birthday birthday this year um so we're heading we're actually staying in the at the same airbnb that we stayed at a few years ago in montmartre and um, we're very excited and we've booked into some nice restaurants and things and we can't wait to get going. We're actually getting the Eurostar this morning, which is why we're up so early. Um, and I've never got it before. So I'm very excited to see what that's going to be like. And I woke up yesterday morning with a chic little sty in my eye. So I'm going to keep my sunglasses on for the majority of this weekend so that you don't have to look at my uh, gradually swelling eyeball. Not eyeball. Imagine if your eyeball swelled. Well, that wouldn't, that be good. Sort of wouldn't be a good look. I need it? to get in this straw. Okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> We have arrived in Paris at our Airbnb. If you have been watching my vlogs for years and years, you may recognize this backdrop because Elliot and I actually stayed in this Airbnb in June 2017. We said 2018. Oh, 2018, four years ago. Um, and we decided to come back to the same place. So we are, our base here is in Montmartre. We've just arrived, it is <coughs> one o'clock in the afternoon. So we're just gonna have just a chill glass of water quickly. And then we're gonna head out, have some cash lunch, have a couple of glasses of wine before our dinner reservation a bit later on. Oh. Anything to add, my lord? No, sit. Elliot thinks I always focus on the negative things that happen, but we did have an eventful train journey. So I'll start by saying that the experience was wonderful of the Eurostar, I really enjoyed it. Very relaxing. Ah. Um, we had to stop at Lille en route because there was a bushfire that was going to be blocking our track. So we were going to have to divert and be like an hour delayed, but it turns out that the fire services in Lille managed to put the fire out, which meant we could get here kind of a little bit delayed, but not so much. And then um, there was a couple further down our carriage and one of them accidentally poured a cup of hot coffee on the other one's foot and she really burned herself. So they did like a tannoy announcement. Is there a nurse or a doctor on the train? And then they all came flocking, all female, I might add. And, um, and the first data came and she got some like ice for her foot and she basically was having it cooled down the entire journey. So hopefully she's okay, but it was eventful. But we made it here in one piece. It's super hot outside, but we just walked from Gard Nord to here, which was like 15 minute walk. Didn't feel like that, did it? No, it actually felt less, like less time. Yeah. So here we are. Let's get this adventure, this party started. Woo woo! Ah, look. Ooh, we had to walk up this with our case. Le bimbo. Le bon bim. Oh, it's cold, baby. Oh. She's so fine, fine, fine. She's so fine. She's so fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's so fine. Oh, 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 is it? No. 
we are just going for a little stroll around Mama before we go home and get changed for dinner. Um, and Elliot has the same navigational skills as my dad. Very good ones, See, considering mine is so bad. And he says, you know where we're going to pop out? And I was like, no, I have no idea, it's Seven Moulin Rouge. So, I'm counting on you to have this right. Here we are, he was correct, good navigation. Elle and I just got taught how to use um, one of the public toilets here in Paris, which are like self-cleaning. We were very confused, but we worked it out. Um, we have got a couple of hours now until we need to get ready for dinner. So we're just gonna stroll around the area and see what we can find, including this incredible tiny little red theater, which I'm liking the look of. Um, we're in very much an area that I would say is the equivalent of like Soho of London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Soho of London. So it's very cool. There's a lot to look at, a lot of cool signs and neon things. <laughs> is that a good description of this place? Harry's had a few wines. <laughs> We have decided to try a Paris bus. We're just waiting for the number 85 to take us back home because it is time for us to go home and get ready. We've discovered some lovely places today though. Some really nice dinner spots and breakfast spots yeah. and coffee spots. And lunch spots. And lunch spots. So potentially for tomorrow, we could venture back here. Do we know where we are? That's the question. Yeah, I took a photo of a few other places so we okay. can just give it a little. Nice. Yeah, baby. We have both had a cold shower and got changed for dinner. I am wearing this, which is from Abercrombie, which I love very much. And my new um, kind of flat form, I suppose, uh, sandals from Jones the Bootmaker. Loveliest dinner. Our waiter was so nice and polite, wasn't he? He was. He, he was, was very pleased that I, um, I basically I came for work a few months ago and I went there and it was amazing. So I was kind of said that we were returning. So we're now walking off our dinner and we're heading to a bar called La Station, La Station. which apparently has live music. But we shall see when we get there. Um, it's it's very much near the Moulin Rouge, so we're walking back along the kind of like centre area. It looks like the La Station, doesn't it? it doesn't look open. Oh, really? Shame. Oh no, you're right. It doesn't. <laughs> well, there's the station. It looks so it looks very closed there. to us. No, that looks dead as a dodo. That ain't open. It is 11 p.m. and we just got back to our Airbnb. We were trying to, we were on the hunt for a limoncello, but we couldn't find anywhere. Um, so we decided to come back because our feet are so tired that we thought we'd just get an early night tonight and make the most of tomorrow. Thankfully, I put my bottle of water in the freezer while we were out for dinner. So it's very nice and slushy. But it is 11 o'clock and it is still so warm outside. It's so hot. We're struggling. But anyway, thanks for watching this vlog and we'll see you tomorrow for more exciting Parisian adventures. My eye is better by the way. I'm not oh, really good. Well, I'm not really feeling the pain of it, but that could be because we've had a bottle of wine. We'll a see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Good night. <laughs>